Hey guys, I'm heading to my next no cooling call, the third of the day. And I was thinking about some of the guys in our group with the most experience, how we need to learn from those guys. Now, a lot of times we all make videos and a lot of us are in kind of the mid experience range, which I think is like the 15 or 20 years in the field range. That's where I fall, guys like Ralph, uh, John, a lot of the guys are in that area. But we have a few guys that have been around for 30 plus. You know, Steve Lav, and I'm gonna to try to say this, Jim Pedinato. I hope that's right. Hey, my last name's Yoda, so. I'm used to crazy shit last names. These guys have been in 30 plus years. And videos come out every day, and we'll all watch them, especially those of us that have been around for a while. And you don't learn a lot of brand new information. You see different ways to do things and you might see a way to make you more efficient. But what I've seen from watching guys like Lav and Pedinato, maybe, is that on their videos, I'll learn stuff flat out. Stuff I didn't even know about. For instance, I want to learn more about converting my mineral oil R22 systems to systems that typically require POE in question, chiefly 407C. I like 407C, the times that I've had to use it on compressor chains out, it's worked really well. I've been really pleased with it, but I felt like I was limited to the compressor change out because the new compressors now, the CR Cope ones, have POE oil instead of mineral oil because the R22 will still work with POE. So it was really easy to make the conversion there. But Jim had said that I could put POE on top of the mineral oil, just add 15 or 20% to it, and it would still function if I wanted to do it, say, during an evaporator change out or some other component change out. Like if I want to change an accumulator out, and I want to switch the refrigerant over, that would be a good time to do so. So I thought that was great, but I just I just didn't have any video source material to see anyone doing it. So I knew that Jim had talked about it and he had talked about the pump he uses to um, inject the POE. So I said, well, it's probably on one of his videos. And I know some of his recent videos have been conversions to 407F because he's in refrigeration. So I looked it up and sure enough, every bit of information that I would have asked or needed to be given was there. So in one fell swoop, I learned everything I needed to know. And a big thanks go out to him in particular, but all the senior techs of our group for showing us that even though we've come a long way, we still have a lot to learn.